Hello, and welcome to another episode of Fossiliferous. We're out on the beach, on the Yorkshire coast. And, uh, <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Now we've come to see if we can find some nice Jurassic fossils. Doing a bit of a walk first on the uh, Cleveland Way, which is always good fun. It's an absolutely gorgeous day today. Absolutely gorgeous. So, we've had uh, good sunshine for a few days now, so imagine lots and lots of people out on the coast. But yeah, there's always something to find. Let's see if we can prove that right. So yeah, let's get down on the beach. steep down here so we don't want to lose our footing yeah it's a, it's a good old get down this lovely cliffs fortunately I don't think we're gonna see a lot of sunshine but that's okay uh, used to that on the Yorkshire coast not like you Dorset lot where you get sunshine all the time yeah land on the rope land on the path Bridge of Doom. Yeah. I'll get down on the basement there and have a look so you can find out good. Yeah. That's got to be in there. Definitely. That's good. There's another rock down here as well. I'll just go on it. in that one but yeah first one for the bag it's definitely a keel there stick that in the pocket and let's move on see if we can find some more now oh, spotted another dark I only just saw it as well just under this rock <laughs> look at that beauty definitely all in there is that nice just broke this nodule open it's a little phylloceros that's nice so unfortunately that bit has broken off and I don't know quite how it fits back on probably some other bits but yes yeah, so it's gonna have to be a small one but yeah phylloceros nice there's a side of one but I don't think there's any more in that it's gonna have to stay there you likely nodules but I'm not finding much at the moment but yeah just keep looking hopefully find a few bits and pieces down here over there but I'll have a middle in it. Hey, on the deck. Uh, I'm sweating down here. It's super super warm and humid but uh, I've picked a few nodules up so I'm gonna give them a little bash. They're probably not all got some in but they all look promising. So yeah, can't see anything on any of them so let's give them a bash and see. Empty. Oh, hang on. I'm just sitting that there. That might be a catacoloceros in there because that looks nice and fat. Just to see a little bit of ribbing. That's good. Cool. That can go in the bag. Not going to damage that one. Empty. Busted. That's a shame. Can't be glued that one up. No. 
Uh, empty. Nope. Aeronoceros. That's lovely. You can see the ribs and the spines. So that's all in there. Don't need to go any further. Now this is showing, looks like an Ildoceros, but well worn if it is. So let's give it a tap and just see if we can split it. Ooh. Wasn't expected. It is a Hildoceros, it's quite worn. So, yeah, I don't think we'll probably take that, I'm afraid, but let's see if we can pop it. Yeah. yeah, I don't think it's all in there, to be honest. No, it's not all in there. That's a shame. This one's got some little ones showing, but I don't think there's all big in there, but we'll give it a crack and see. Nodules. Yeah, it's a badly preserved multi block, so, well, two fines for the bag there, can't be bad. Certainly not the best, but certainly not the worst block I've ever done. Due to it being very, very shelly, a lot of these ammonites, these Anios, had had shells embedded in them. And you can see where the shells have actually gone in and done damage to the Anioceros. There was a piece of shell right around here that's moulded in with the shell. This one actually went into the shell. There are some quite nice ones but that's the problem you get with shelly blocks when the shell goes into the Arneoceros it can uh, tend to mess them up a little bit but uh, it's not that bad just put a bit of Paraloid B72 on a bit of protection and make them stand out. I tend to use a lot of uh, wax finishes nowadays, or oil wax finishes, but not something you is easy to do on a a multi block. Anyway guys, once again thank you for watching, I hope that's been of interest to some of you, see you soon. I've got a few little bits around here, so just pick that up. Middle block, keep that one though. There's a duck, definitely in there. I think that one's all in there. Oh, I've seen something down here as well, maybe. No, maybe not. Sometimes you do get these little hot spots where suddenly you just find this little collection of uh, fossils. Oh, there's one, look. Yep, again, that's not quite all there, unfortunately. Yeah. 
Ah, so, time to go back up to the top of the cliff. It's still a wonderful day. Just one strip of cloud come over. But uh, yeah, a few dacks actually, not too bad. I haven't filled everything because time has been limited with the time cut tide coming in. So, one lovely little phyloceros. Yeah, maybe a cataclosaurus, perinoceros, a few different species. We'll give them all a clean when we get back home, but uh, yeah, not too bad. And that's it, one hand after the other. Up the rope we go. That's a lovely yellow wallflower showing. I always tell it's getting into spring when you see these. A little primroses. Absolutely packed with them all. But uh, yeah, lovely to see. Just to give you an idea. Yeah, pretty sheer drop. Oh, wow, it's got a bit warm. So, yeah, heading back. And uh, what a lovely day it is, too. So, yeah, a decent bag full of decks. And uh, on the way back to the car. Ah, it's got this hill to get up. It should be fun. Now look at that coastline. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely. Oh. So up here we go. So that's we'll do the round up here. Uh, not really being washed, but yeah, yeah, some uh, some half decent dacks in here. Yeah, should be uh, should be pretty good. Yeah, a little bit mucky because they've been in the bag. But, uh, yeah. Of all sorts. This Peronostra should be quite good, hopefully. Uh, what's the big hit? There's a little lumpy one that looked like uh, yeah, it's quite chunky, don't know what that is. Definitely a chunky one somewhere that I saw that looked like it had a, yeah, that one. Yeah, I think that might be a Catacolosaurus. And uh, star of the show, lovely little Phyloceros. And you've made it to the very end of the video, so just one thing left to do and that's hit that subscribe button. So if you enjoyed the video, and I hope you did because you got this far, uh, please do hit the subscribe button because it helps the channel uh, and make sure you get notifications for future videos. That's all for now, see you on the next one.